Hi there, and welcome back to Mo's Garage. In today's episode, we are going to be adjusting the front brakes on this 1978 BMW R100S that I just recently acquired. Um, when I bought it, uh, it was having some issues with the front brakes, as in it had no front brakes. So um, I went ahead and uh, bled the brake system, and that did not entirely fix the problem. Um, it was interesting to note, though, when I bled it, there was basically no liquid in the master cylinder. So um, good news is I've resolved that issue, and I think the issue now is with was the adjustment on the cable on the lever that goes to the actual master cylinder and actuates it. On this particular bike, uh, kind of interesting, the master cylinder is underneath the gas tank. So uh, to get to it, we actually have to remove the seat and the gas tank. Not a big deal, um, just a little just a little weird, but it's all good. So um, let's get going and see how it turns out. Awesome. So first step is gonna be removing the seat. It actually happens pretty easily. There's a little uh, release mechanism here. Seat pops up. And then the big question is how to get it out. Is that toppling the bike over? It's just basically just messing with it a little bit. Here it goes. There it goes. Okay. Seat is off. So next steps are to take the toolkit out and the toolkit tray, and then there's a couple of knurls at the bottom of this thing. So the toolkit comes out, this is the tray. Put those away. And then what you will see is that if you look closely, there is a couple of a couple of neurons in there that needs to come out. So it's kind of hard to see, uh, but uh, it's actually um, pretty easy to come out. So we'll we'll get those out real quick, and then uh, we'll see what the deal is. So I said before, the, there if you reach in here, you can, and of course this. Uh, these BMWs are kind of interesting. Um, most bikes I've owned, when you put it on the center stand, it rests firmly on the front wheel. This particular bike uh, actually rests firmly on the back wheel. So it becomes a little, little weird uh, when you're kind of uh, messing with it. As I said, the bulk of the weight seems to be, um, so it's the back end. So without the seat on, it becomes a little squirrely. So this kind of goes up a little bit. That comes, you see there's a couple of there's one, and back in here somewhere, there's a second one. So we'll get it finished. I'll we'll screw it out so we can get it out. Okay, so here are the, here are the two little gnarly dudes. Um, then I do have to disconnect the gas tank real quick, so we'll do that here next. So disconnecting the gas tank should be as easy, hopefully, as just pulling the, the, uh, um, hoses off. The reason it's so easy is because I already took this gas tank off once and kind of broke uh, the seal. I'm pretty confident that um, when I put this thing back together, I'm going to put a new hose and some clamps because I don't think I want it uh, to come apart that easily. Uh, so. But once you have that done, it really becomes a simple matter of just basically just lifting the tank up and back and voila. You now have to push it up and off the bike. So pretty you know, nonsense no fuss. And guess what we see? We see the master cylinder. Actually, not yet. So, so now that the bike's off, you can see the master cylinder. Um, what's interesting in this bike, if you look at the dash, it has a um, brake failure alarm. And so basically on the master cylinder, both in the front and the back, there's actually a level meter. So I guess be before it goes to a certain level, then it will actually uh, turn the light on. So you know you have an issue with um, your reservoir. Here's a second one. You can see it has also a couple of uh, leads going to it. So 
So um, I did bleed, bleed the brakes. Um, the handles are pretty squishy. I mean, really squishy. So something is not right in Dodge City. I need to figure out what it is. And I also bled the, the back brakes. The back brakes, um, the hose going down, that looks pretty not so great. And then there's some kind of a little rubber nipple here. I'm not sure why there's two um, uh, uh, ports on this particular master cylinder, but that rubber nipple is looking pretty nasty too, so it'll have to be replaced. So, okay, so my next step will be to kind of see what the heck is going on with this thing, so. So what I'm suspecting right now is that maybe the issue is, may have something to do with the fact that there's a cable that runs from the um, brake lever down to the master cylinder that actuates the actual master cylinder. There's a, I understand there's this, this rubber cover here that comes off. And you can see that uh, there, well, first of all, you can see there's a lot of play here, so that does not look right. Um, so we obviously need to figure that out. So, so most likely take the play out. Then once we take the play out, then hopefully we can uh, figure out why in Sam heck is this not doing very well. So if we actuate it, let me get my arm out of the way. If we actuate it right now, let's see what happens. Okay, so basically the next step is to go look at the BMW service manual. Um, the bike was nice enough to come with a climber manual. Um, not my favorite normally, I actually would prefer the factory manual. I find the climbers are, have too many uh, different models that they're trying to kind of cover at once. And so sometimes you don't quite get the information you're looking for. But we'll at least uh, check it out real quick and see what the deal it was um, with regards to at least figuring out the the uh, tolerances between the cable and that kind of a piston. So we'll be right back. Awesome. Okay, so I did a little research online and uh, basically to adjust this, uh, there's basically a special tool that basically fits in here and you adjust it to where this, you pull this, um, turn the nut over here to tighten this up to the point where this comes in and it gets to a point where it uh, applies enough plush pressure over here where this feeler gauge will barely move and then you pull it out and life is good. Now, the cool thing was the BMW is, uh, as I said before, it comes as a full toolkit and voila, look at that. Um, and uh, what's really cool is that when I was doing some research, it said it needed a special BMW tool. And uh, yes, there is a special BMW tool right here that came with kind of the feeler gauge. Um, I find it kind of funny because I, uh, used to have an Africa Twin by Honda, and the toolkit it came with was a screwdriver. So it's kind of nice, it actually comes with something a little bit more. So that goes there, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this right here to get it to a point where this will apply enough pressure over here to where this barely uh, uh, can move in and out of there. So we'll check that out. So we'll uh, give it a whirl here real quick. So we're gonna adjust this over here to where hopefully we can tighten this up. As you can see, there's a fair amount of play there. So, a little bit less play, a little bit less. Okay, so now the question becomes is where does this stand? So right now there's, this can go in and out fairly easily. So it sounds like the trick here is to make sure that um, we have enough adjustment here to where this will barely go in and out. Go a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, so now that's kind of, um, okay, so that is right there. So now the big question is, where do we stand with our brake handle? Ooh, and now we actually have brakes. That is awesome. Now we have plenty of brakes. Awesome, okay. So last but not least, what we should do is also really quick uh, tighten down um, kind of lock the adjuster. So 
we don't have any more movement in the future. If that makes sense. So one more time, we'll grab the our friend here and see if it works. Yeah, like it. Awesome. Good deal. Okay, so well I think that's it for the time being. Uh, so that kind of concludes the adjustment of this. We'll put the put the rubber boot back on and go ahead and put the tank back on, etc. So so bad news. After about the brakes all adjusted, it occurred to me that um, this might be slightly leaking. So um, a couple things. First of all, there was a uh, sticker here that basically just slid off two seconds ago. Not a bad indication. And then the other thing that I found out is that when I was looking at the boot. Um, you could, I was, I saw some like brake fluid in there, so I did wipe it off. So um, yeah, not great. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go ahead and order a um, seal kit for it from BMW. Supposedly such an animal exists. Because um, the other thing I kind of noticed is that it's really weird. Um, that whole cylinder is pretty corroded. I'm not sure why that'd be the case. So um, looks like I, um, I need to check it out, see what's going on. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly looking forward to breaks are not my favorite, uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, Well, win some lose some so we will check back in once I get the new parts and we'll go from there. Awesome Okay, if you like this video hit subscribe and give us a big like down below. Thanks for watching